Hey everybody, <laughs> you know what time it is. It's tally time. August broadcast. I'm a few days behind, a couple days behind I guess, but I sat and watched it today. If you hear some noise in the background, it's my dog playing with paper. He, he likes shredding paper up, so he's working on a cardboard box right now. <laughs> Pulling it apart, he's funny. And the cats like the boxes too. So, anyway, um, August, August broadcast, um, 59 minutes, 15 seconds. And these totals are crazy. And I, um, what's this? And, uh, you gotta hear this. In 59 minutes, they said Jehovah 104 times. They said God 17 times. Um, sometimes Jehovah God, and I wrote them down. So you get um, total, if you total God and, and Jehovah together, that would be uh, 121 times. In 59 minutes um, that's getting real close to the record of 125 by the way um, Jesus five times Satan ten times but they also said the wicked one five times and so since Satan and the wicked one are the same thing um, you get a, a total of um, 15 for Satan which that's really bad because Jesus only got five and that disappoints me I don't like it when they mention the evil one and Satan more than they mention Jesus and of those five times they mentioned Jesus um, a couple of them were only because they were saying well Jesus says and then they'd read a scripture where he said something but they weren't really talking about Jesus you know like I say that's like talking about Jesus in passing you know yeah so I, I was disappointed in that yeah that was bad 15 to five, only five for Jesus nah that's not good he said the governing body once the truth twice and I already told you 17 for God so you know God and Jehovah I mean they were saying Jehovah God a lot and um I didn't I didn't um, figure out how many times a minute that is but for 59 minutes which is just shy of an hour so um, that's like two Jehovah's a minute you know how, how many times does a normal person say Jehovah during the day I don't think very many even a Jehovah's Witness, the only time they mention it is when they're talking to other Jehovah's Witnesses or out in field service or giving a talk or something like that. But in their own life, I don't think they say it twice a minute. I don't think so. And one thing, um, they had a little part on there of Tony Morris gave this little talk thing about prayer. And he was saying that that he hears prayers and that God hadn't delegated anyone else to do that. But I disagree. Because um, Jesus was given all authority over heaven and earth and things under the earth and er everywhere. He's given on all authority. And Jesus is our high priest. So when we pay pray to God, we're praying through Jesus and Jesus is our mediator and he mediates and intercedes for us that means that when we talk to when we pray to God we're talking to Jesus and then Jesus goes to God and says listen you know um, these people are doing the best they can they're humans I know what it's like I've been there and you know um, I understand what they're going through and I know how hard it is 
And he is constantly our mediator because he's our high priest in heaven, sitting at the right hand of God. So for Toni Morris to say that he did, hasn't delegated anyone else to hear prayers, um, he's a little wrong. They, they forget about Jesus. And they also, without saying too much about it, but if you research it, you'll find out that they consider Christ only the mediator for the 144,000, which they say is the governing body, which none of that is true. Oh my God. Jesus is everyone's mediator. Everyone who has faith in him and believes in him and follows his commandments. Even God said we were supposed to listen to Jesus and follow his example and follow his commandments. So, you know, I, I'm, I don't agree with Watchtower at all on that. I don't. And I think they're misleading a lot of people and causing people a lot of unjust pain and misery. You know, when they belittle Jesus like that, you know, don't do that, Jehovah's Witnesses. Come on. Jesus died for you and me and everyone that believes in him. So don't fall for that watchtower stuff. You know, you have to follow the governing body to have salvation and and you have to kiss their shirt tails and you know all that no they ain't nobody special come on and i think god's pretty pissed off at them right now with that supreme court thing and watchtower yeah that's absolutely terrible <coughs> if you don't know about it um Google it. Find out what um, J.W. versus um, the U.S. Supreme Court, Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, um, is getting in a lot of hot water uh, for not obeying court orders. You know, they, they tell their members that you're supposed to obey the land, laws of the land, but they won't. And they don't. And Jehovah's Witnesses, if any of you are listening, the organization is doing things behind your back that they're not telling you about. They're lying to you by omission. They tell you that they've won all their court cases. No, they haven't. They lose court cases every month. They pay out millions and millions and millions of dollars to um, people who've been sexually assaulted by people that they leave in leadership roles inside the congregation. And knowing that they are child abusers and sex abusers, they leave them there. You know, that just not right. Uh, you know, I just get perturbed with Watchtower all over. I can't wait to see Watchtower fall. I, I'm, I really can't wait. And, and, um, remember, um, I'm going to be putting money away for a party at my house when Watchtower falls. If it happens in my lifetime, and, and I'm not in a nursing home or something by then. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have a party at my house. And I, some, I was talking to somebody else. They said, well, after the party at my house, they're having a party at their house. So there's a lot of partying going on in Watchtower Falls. A lot of people um, planning some, some cool parties. So um, hang in there, everybody. Things will get better. They do. Life is great outside of Watchtower. So smile, be happy, and have a pleasant journey on your way. <laughs> but I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.